Week 32 Friday A reading from a homily of a second century author Let us turn to God who has called us I regard my counsel about self-control and chastity as very important indeed because anyone who hears it will save himself and help to save me too his mentor It is no small thing to help to rescue and set on the right path a lost soul and a dialogue in faith and love between Christians is something to thank God the creator for Let us persevere then in the faith and in holiness of life and open our hearts to God in prayer remembering his words while you are still speaking i will answer behold i am with you how encouraging these words are showing us as they do that god is ever readier to give than we ought to ask his generosity is open to all of us but we must not envy one another such good fortune god's message brings delight to those who obey him but judgment to those who disobey and so brethren everything conspires to make us repent and we must not lose the chance of turning to jesus and answering his call we shall all experience his compassion if we live disciplined lives and master our souls by not yielding to self indulgence Remember that the day of judgment is coming like a blazing furnace and the heavens shall melt and all the earth too like molten lead in the fire and every human action even the most secret will be revealed Alms giving is one form of repentance and a good one too Fasting is better than prayer but alms giving is better than both because charity covers a multitude of sins prayer is a sure shield against death and blessed is the man found perfect in these three ways one last word alms giving lightens the load of sin let us repent then with all our heart so that none of us may be lost It is our duty as Christians to rescue people from idolatry and to instruct them in the faith but it is even more important that those who already know God should not perish let us collaborate in helping those whose faith is weak so that by our mutual advice and example we may all be saved